Hi friends, so now in the previous video we talked of the average fixed cost, right? We saw the graph of how the average fixed cost looks, then we talk of the average variable cost and now we are going to uh, talk of the average total cost. So the addition of these two will get average total cost also known as only average cost. So average cost is average total cost. So it's the cost per unit of production or we can say it is the total cost right now. It's a total cost per unit of production. So how do we get it? We divide the total cost by the total units of production and what is total cost total cost is the sum of the total fixed cost see it is the sum of the total fixed cost and total variable cost so it will look like some like this average cost is total cost upon total production that is basic what is total cost total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost right so average cost can also be taken as fixed cost plus variable cost that gives total cost upon total production in units. So AC is TC by TP where AC is average cost, TC is total cost, TP is total production. Now look at the schedule. The production is 1 unit, the total cost is 9. So average will be 9 upon 1 that is 9 rupees production is 2 units and the cost is less total cost is less so the average will be 16 upon 2 now see basically total cost is made up of total cost is made up of the fixed cost plus variable cost right now fixed cost plus variable variable cost let us imagine in this situation I am having I have a fixed cost of let's say um, 3 rupees so let's take 3 rupees so 3 rupees is fixed cost in the first unit when the unit is 1 3 rupees fixed cost 6 rupees variable cost and total cost now is 9 when the 2 units are produced fixed cost will still remain 3 but in this case the variable cost instead of 6 instead of 12 now 6 to the 12 it has gone up let's say so the variable cost is now uh, 13 and we get total cost as 16 so you are seeing fixed cost will remain fixed irrespective see in this case a better situation would be something like this um, it, a fixed cost would be a little higher let us say um, the fixed cost is 5 rupees and variable cost 4 in the next situation fixed cost 5 rupees when 2 units are produced fixed cost still is 5 but variable cost in this case now would be um, 4.5 so that's uh, 16 11 right? 11 rupees right so instead of four, to make 1 unit 4 rupees um, to make 2 units right 11 rupees same way third the fixed cost is 5 only fixed cost is not changing with the number of units but the variable cost in this case variable cost is 16 rupees right sorry the variable cost is yeah 16 and we get total cost as 21 so basically fixed cost remains fixed but the variable cost per unit is increasing okay and because of that we are getting increase of the fixed cost but again uh, this does not make much sense why because we saw a variable cost actually should decrease right variable cost should decrease at a decrease at a increasing rate see for to make 10 units 80 rupees so then to make 20 units another only 70 is being spent then um, to make further uh, only 60 is been spent so variable cost will keep on decreasing to some 
uh, to some level after that it will also increase like say till here it has decreased and then it increases okay but um, from this table it is very hard to get this thing right let's can still forget it out let's just forget it out if we had seen the earlier table compared like that then we have got a better idea of the how the uh, variable call and total costs are in, uh, parallelly increasing and okay now you see you can look at this thing now at three units the cost is 21 so the average cost is seven rupees at four units the cost is 28 so average cost is 28 by 4 it is 7 so you see till near from 9 to 8 to 7 now again will be 7 at 5 units the cost is 40 so it is now back to 8 rupees see, the cost has increased then back 9 rupees and then 10 rupees so if you are looking at the graph we will see that it is coming down at one level right? at one level and then it goes up okay so it's a u shaped graph not a v shape not a steep uh, v but a u shaped gently it comes down and gently it goes up see something like this in that uh, in this schedule if we plot this graph so one units nine rupees two units eight rupees three units seven so at three and four units are the lowest cost and then the cost again keeps on increasing so the cost is average cost curve is u-shaped in short right in short initially with an increase in production the average cost decreases at a particular level of production it is minimum see in this case up here it is minimum and after that it increases with an increase in production so average cost curve becomes u shape and this is happening because of the increase of the variable cost see um, we had that one uh, table where we had seen the all the four terms at together yeah we had seen this uh, thing total fixed cost total variable cost and total cost we saw up in that table okay, fixed cost is 100 altogether it's not changing at all irrespective of the units of production right? irrespective of what is being produced the fixed cost remains fixed but look at the variable cost at zero production variable cost is zero so total cost is 100 at 10 production total cost 100 variable cost 80 so total cost 180 and if the if i find the average cost or average total cost let's say so 180 upon 10 so that would be 90 180 by 10 that is 90 in this case we cannot we cannot find average cost because there is no production right but yeah there is some cost then for 20 production the total cost is 250 so 250 divided by 20 what will I get so it will be 100 and something no I following now uh, 250 divided by 125 125 oh sorry very sorry my calculation has gone haywire right now it is in this case 180 upon 10 so um, that is only 18 and then 250 by 20 so it is 12.5 you see it's coming down then we have 310 by 30 so 310 by 30 it would be something near 10 rupees average let's say 10 rupees okay it's coming down then 390 by 40 again you see 39 by 4 so that is 9.9 uh, 9, um 36 let's say zero. then 490 by 5 again see 490 by 50 so that is again 9.8 see now it is stabilizing at now at the next level it would go uh, uh, it will again start increasing so you see the curve is now coming down from 18 it has come to 9.8 stable and then again it will keep on increasing so we get a better idea from this uh, table and why is happening see the the variable curve variable cost is first increasing at a decreasing rate see up here it is plus 80 
then appioid is plus 70 only appioid is plus 60 only see it is increasing at a decreasing rate and then from here you see plus 80 again back to um, high rise then up here plus 100 so the variable cost is now increasing after 30 units of production okay so that is why the average cost also will keep on increasing because if the total cost increases obviously the average cost also will increase right and we get a u-shaped structure so this is what the total cost looks like we now have to talk of a very important uh, cost called marginal cost i feel it requires a little detailed explanation so i'll continue that in the next video right so meet you then